All right, y'all, coming up right now is going to be a Raiders mailbag, and today's show is presented by Panda Subs. Make sure you're using hashtag Raiders or Super Jack to get your questions or your comments on the show, and use code ONLYNATION to save 40% off. Where? PandaSubs.com. This first one's coming in from my dude, Keith Roscoe Flats. Rich Basachi and Raiders reminds me of Freddie Kitchens and Browns, and we know how that worked out. Thoughts? Well, I don't 100% agree with you in terms of that because Freddie Kitchens did an okay job, and I get to the fact that they decided to not stick with Cleveland, or he decided to not stick with Ki Kitchens. But I'll also say this. There was a lot of other areas in terms of quarterback play, which is a major, major issue. The other part is this. Basachi did a lot better job than what Freddie Kitchens did. Let's just put that together right now. Let's go to Klisman, Michelle, Mitch. Let's say that for some miracle way that Lewis Riddick gets hired as general manager, who do you see him bringing in to head coach? Same for Trey Brown. Well, if Lewis Riddick is your next general manager, I'm still going to go ahead and say that I think Jim Harbaugh is the most likely candidate to be head coach. Same with, you know, Trey Brown. It's probably going to be somebody like Jim Harbaugh. I just, I don't see them going another way. I mean, maybe if you decide to keep somebody like Rich Basaccia, then Basaccia can weigh in on his two cents, but... I think the next head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders is going to be Jim Harbaugh. Let's go to Papaya Man 89 What would be your ideal GM, head coach, and quarterback? See, this is a really difficult question because ideal GM and head coach, I think right now it's going to be Ed Dodds. I believe it's going to be Jim Harbaugh. And if Derek Carr is willing to play at $19.9 million, it's Derek Carr. If he doesn't want to play on that, you trade Derek Carr for two first-round picks. And then you go out and invest in the draft. Maybe somebody like Matt Corral. Maybe somebody like Kenny Pickett. Or you go out and get somebody like Russell Wilson or Sean Watson or Aaron Rodgers. This next one's coming in from Jorge from Tampa. All right. Okay, Mitch. Thoughts on trading Carr to the Giants. All right. So I just mentioned two first-round picks. For both their first-round picks this year, would you do it? All right, so you're talking about the New York Giants. So, Sam, if you could do some research, figure out when those first-round picks are, make a graphic for me, that would be great. So would you guys trade Derek Carr to the New York Giants for two first-round picks? Pretty interesting stuff. Sam's giving me the thumbs up, so we got the graphic. Shout out to Sam. Spam Sam down in the comments. So the Raiders received the number five overall pick in this year's draft and the number seven overall pick in this year's draft. The New York Giants get Derek Carr. Would you guys make that trade? I mean, personally for me, I would make that deal. I think it's a pretty good deal. Now, again, that comes back on the basis of you know who you like in the draft. You know who the quarterback you want. Or if there's another QB out there in free agency that you could potentially be interested in. But, yeah, those two high first-round picks, I'm definitely interested. But then, again, if Derek wants to pay at $19.9 million, I'm also okay. T for trade, K for keep. Would you trade Carr for two first-rounders? Let's go to the next crush coming, coming in from Joey. Might as well hire Mel Kuyper. No, I, I don't think Mel Kuyper is even close, and here's why. What, the issue that we're starting to get in, and Gruden also fell short to this, the way the NFL works, and one of, one of the reasons why I wanted somebody who's a little bit younger is because younger people know technology. Think about your dad. Think about even a guy like John Gruden. He was not technologically savvy Mel Kuyper is really bad with technology he says it all the time on his shows and he can't figure out a lot of things in today's world with the amount of analytics with the amount of other resources the internet alone I would run circles around probably almost anybody over the age of 60 over the age of 50 why because I know how to use analytics I know how to use a computer Mel Kuyper and some of these older guys I don't know if they honestly do let's go to Rashissimo Locke Mark Davis really likes to promote the Raiders that's why I think he's going to get a big-name head coach like Harbaugh. I mean, yeah, I mean, part of the reasons, right, you go to Las Vegas is to promote, and I agree, Harbaugh is going to be uh, one of the big-name guys out there, but there's also been connections to Mike Tomlin. Personally, I don't think Mike Tomlin leaves Pittsburgh, but if he does, could be interesting. If the rumors are true from Jane Slater that Sean Payton has at least thought about leaving the New Orleans Saints, Payton has expressed interest then in being the next Raiders head coach, there's going to be a lot of intrigue. Why? You can get paid a lot of money. It's a big-time city, and everybody wants to go there. The Pro Bowl, the NFL Draft, people, eyes are on Las Vegas. Mark Davis is a good businessman, but I don't know if he's a good owner. So we'll see what happens there. Now, if you guys want free videos around the Raiders, what do you got to do? Hit that subscribe button, 100% free. 
for a limited time only, though, for only for the next 365 days. The Raiders report is going to be free, so to make sure you never miss any videos, to make sure you never miss any breaking news, especially in the offseason, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and some of the people that I know have those notifications turned on, shout out to A-Bombs underscore FDZ, Indio, Victor, John, and then Jonathan Ayala Morales. Much love to all of you. You guys are part of the Noti Gang, and if you want to be on a future Raiders report show, Turn on your notifications and try to be one of the very first people to comment on a Raiders Report video. Believe it or not, helps me out a ton. Let's go to Carlos Rodriguez. Carlos, appreciate you and appreciate everyone who's already super chatted. I mentioned in my first mailbag that I'm in a race right now with the Cowboys Report to be the number one most profitable channel here at Chat Sports. And I want to win that title. Why? Because I have never won it in two and a half years. So easy ways to do it is to by going ahead and keep those super chats coming in. It helps out the channel a lot because then I get top priority of studio, which then also means I can make more videos for you guys. So what do you say, think the Raiders go in the draft? I think it honestly depends what they do in free agency. It depends what they do in Derek Carr. If it was up to me, though, your top needs are offensive line, wide receiver, cornerback, if you don't bring back Casey Hayward. Also, quarterbacks definitely to keep in mind. But free agency, offseason trades, that's all going to happen, and then the NFL draft will pop up. But don't worry. You're going to get a lot of videos around my ideas of what the Raiders should do in free agency, draft, offseason, all that good stuff. Let's go to Vicente De Campos. This offseason is going to be exciting nonetheless. Yeah, that's 4 no Chucky Heads. Once we score a true number one wide receiver, we should be straight. I like Odell, Adams, or Allen Robinson. Yeah, I mean, I like all those guys. Uh, Adams would be number one for me. Allen Robinson would be number two. And then Odell Beckham Jr. would come in at number three. I really truly believe, though, that Adams could be franchise tag, which then puts Allen Robinson as the clear-cut guy as number one. And if the Raiders decide to keep their D.C. and Gus Bradley, Allen Robinson was drafted by Bradley when they were together at the – Jack's really, really good relationship there between those two. In fact, when Gus Bradley was hired by the Raiders last season, Allen Robinson went right to Twitter and was like, congratulations to Bradley and just had nothing but kind words to say about him. And I have nothing but kind words to say about today's sponsor, Panda Subs, the best workout supplements on the market. If anybody out there is trying to get into better shape, this is the place to do it. Go to pandasups.com, use code only nation to save 40% off him. I get it. This is the, you know, the time of the year with everything going on with COVID. The amount of times I hear people say, oh, I need to boost my immune system. I need to boost my immune system. Here's how you do it. If you buy the greens, this is honestly probably the best way to go ahead and do it. I don't know about you. I'm only 28 years old, about to be 29, but I wake up with joint pain. I have recently been taking the greens for the past week. My joint pain is essentially gone. If you're somebody that gets sick a lot and you need to go ahead and boost those, you know, white blood cells, here's a great way to do it. And if you get the greens, your body will absolutely thank you. So go to pandasups.com, 40% off with code only nation. That link is going to be available for you all in the comments and in the description. David, are you taking your greens? Let's go to Just Went and Looked. Uh, the tackle from Kansas City is Orlando Brown Jr. Yeah, well, I mean, Orlando Brown Jr., you're not going to get him for the simple fact of they traded away a first-round pick last year. And then, what'd you, uh, so Sam likes Orlando Brown Jr., so he's an Oklahoma guy. I actually had him as a fourth-round grade. He outplayed a lot better than what I thought. You guys were all chumps whenever everyone looked at Orlando Brown's workout video, which remarkably was, was one bad. of the worst video, worst workouts ever. But you watch him on the football field and he mauled everybody. Should have been a first rounder. He's a first round tackle. Natural left tackle. Started his career at right tackle with Baltimore. When Ronnie Stanley got hurt, hurt. that's when he shifted over to left tackle. Realized he's going to make more money there. Yep. And so therefore got traded to Kansas City. So I doubt you'd bring him in as right tackle because I think he wants to get paid like a left tackle. Yeah, no, sooner. I, I totally agree. I mean, that's literally why he left Baltimore. He wanted to be a left tackle. He wanted to be paid like a left tackle. Now, unless you're the Raiders where you pay Trent Brown left tackle money and put him at right tackle. All right, what up, Joe Mama? Raider fans do have a heart. Three rings to this year. So I don't know if you're trying to troll because I think you might be a Chiefs fan. I don't know. But, yes, the Raiders fans do have three rings uh, as it stands right now. Can you guys let me know? When the Raiders won their Super Bowls, because I'm amazed on the amount of Raider fans that do not know. Let's go to Machines of God Super Chat. Mitch, keep up the great work. Whatever happens during the offseason, I have my popcorn ready. May the offseason moves lead to many seasons of success. I'm with you, man. Fingers crossed. We're going to be keeping you up to date. Machines of God, he knows what's going on. Let's go to Sin Sin G. 
Why not Brian Flores for the Raiders' next head coaching gig? Yeah, I'll be honest. I was very surprised that the Raiders decide or that the Miami Dolphins decided to move on from Brian Flores, and I think everyone was. Now, from everything that I've personally heard, it was because Flores he wanted Deshaun Watson. Stephen Ross, the owner over there in Miami, they wanted to stick with Tua Tonga by Loa, so there were some guys who were disagreeing. I think Brian Flores is a good head coach. He's a good defensive-minded guy. When I mean, you look at a lot of the candidates that the Raiders have already, you know, started to talk to, it's uh, it's been pretty interesting nonetheless. And I'm actually just getting some news here that, you know, the first two guys that the Raiders are going to interview for head coach, it sounds like Gerard Mayo and then Rich Basaccia. So those are going to be some two candidates but uh, in terms of Brian Flores, good guy. I don't see him getting the gig personally. I think Flores is either going to be the next head coach of the New York Giants or the Chicago Bears. All right, y'all. Did you agree with the Mayock firing? Y for yes or N for no? If you're watching this live, shout out to y'all. If you're watching this on a later date, I put out my Mike Mayock replacements videos. Another reason to subscribe to the channel. And if you don't have those notifications turned on, you might have missed this. I went live. We went live for over an hour on Monday, breaking all that stuff down. So let me know. Why for yes and for no, did you agree on the Mayock firing? Let's go to LC Raiders. So if Harbaugh becomes our head coach, would Jalen Hurts be a good fit to trade for? No, Jalen Hurts stinks. I don't care what anybody says. I know Jalen Hurts had more touchdowns than Derek Carr. I lost $100 because I made a bet. But no, Jalen Hurts is not a good quarterback. In games where... You're leading, he can be successful. And the games where you get behind and he has to rely on his arm, it's an absolute disaster. No, Jalen Hurts, big fat no. Let's go to Sir Lister of Smeg. Do you think general manager head coach gets announced first and how soon? You know, if it was up to me, general manager would get announced first and then it would be head coach because I know a lot of people are like, oh, head coach is more important than GM. Your general manager, hypothetically speaking, should be more important than your head coach because that's who's above you. The issue is this. The Raiders gave way too much power to John Gruden at head coach. So if it was up to me, I would hire my general manager first, talk to my GM, figure out who he wants to then go ahead and bring in as their head coach. Let's go to Daniel Rodriguez. I'm pretty sure that Nate Solder is going to be a free agent. No, Nate Solder stinks, guys. Like Nate Solder was an absolute just disaster for the New York Giants, he had injuries. He just couldn't get it together. And I don't want to bring in a another tackle that was really good with the New England Patriots and has been an absolute disaster everywhere else he's been. I'm going to say no to Solder. The guy that I would want and most bang for my buck probably at right tackle would more than likely be Morgan Moses. Now, I'm also open to the idea of going out and getting somebody like uh, Norwell or Scherf throw them in at left guard or guard in general, and then you kick out Denzel Good out to right tackle, but no, uh, sorry on Nate Solder. Now, speaking of free agency, what do you guys like more, free agency or the draft? Type F for free agency, type D for the draft, and this might actually influence the next video I make because I've been thinking about do I do free agency targets, do I do draft targets at pick number you know, 22? It goes back and forth in my mind, but I'm going to let you guys decide F for free agency or D for the draft, which one do you enjoy more? Now, I'm going to get to your question on today's mailbag. I personally apologize. Remember, you can always slide in my DMs at MitchellRents365. Make sure you also give me a follow on Twitter. I'm trying to get verified there. It's just an absolute, it's so challenging, man. If anybody has an inside scoop on how to get verified on IG or on Twitter, I will be forever in your debt because I don't know why. I just can't figure out a guy to do it. I, it seems like I need an inside guy. So if you know somebody, please hit me up IG, Twitter. I'd be more than happy to give you guys something in return. But seriously, hit me up. If I didn't get to your question, uh, I'd appreciate it. Let's go to Juicehead, one of my most loyal watchers. What's up, Mitch? Hire Harbaugh, trade Carr for two first, draft Malik Willis, Jamison Williams, or Garrett Wilson. I would probably go with Garrett Wilson because uh, Jameson Williams has got that injury going on, and I don't really know what's exactly going to happen with him. Here's the issue. I like Malik Willis, but Malik Willis, to me, in my mindset, is not ready to start right away in the National Football League. So if you're going to go out and draft Malik Willis, that also means you need to go out and sign a veteran quarterback. Now, if you trade Carr for two first-round picks, hopefully one of those picks is a little bit higher, and that way you can get your hands on Corral or Kenny Pickett. Let's go to Devin Pays. Hey, Mitch, who are some cap casualties or money-saving contracts? So you're talking about, I believe, some of the guys that are more than likely going to get cut this offseason. 
Uh, Nick Kukowski, it's, he's my dude, but he's probably one of the top guys out there that's not going to be coming back. I would like to say Corey Littleton, but unfortunately the Raiders pushed back Littleton's contract so damn much that that's just not going to happen. I know a lot of people are asking me about Josh Jacobs because he deactivated his Instagram account. This has nothing to do with the Raiders cutting him. It has nothing to do with anything Raiders related, I'm told. I'm told that it has everything to do with his family. He posted something on his Instagram story about his family, which is why he deactivated this account. But uh, I will also be making a video of players the Raiders should cut to save some money uh, next this offseason. Let's go to Alphonse Zita. We need to trade Derek Carr and draft Matt Corral. Here's the thing with the reason why I think trading Carr makes sense now. You will not get any higher draft capital for trading D.C. Than, than what you would get right now. The fact that he's got one year left on a deal, very appealing to other teams. The fact that it's at $19.9 million, very appealing to other teams. The fact that he took the Raiders to the playoffs, very appealing to other teams. So if your idea is that you don't want to extend Derek Carr long term or you don't want to give him a pay raise, the thing that almost does make the most sense is to trade D.C. this offseason.